everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another mukbang edition. Today, guys, we are gonna be having a salmon Caesar salad and we're also gonna be having these ribs that are buffalo style. All this came from Dallas BBQ. I'm gonna let you know why I wasn't cooking it. Happy Memorial Day. Let's say a prayer so I can get to eating. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name, always amen. Y'all, I feel like something's blocking my light. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. That better. I think so. All right. I'm hungry. So let's pour this Caesar on. Give me a little piece of pita bread. I took a bite out of it already. Oh. Let's get into this. All right, y'all. I was supposed to barbecue. Those of y'all that was on my live know that I was supposed to do the indoor George Foreman barbecue. Barbecue some wings and some sauces. That did not happen. That did not happen. I just... I was like, I don't feel like it. Then I would have had to Instacart it. Mm. Yeah, so then I would have had to Instacart it and stuff. And they're not doing no priority because it's a holiday. I didn't have no wings. So I said, I'm just gonna order something. So I ordered from Dallas BBQ. Mm. I was watching more video. I saw her eating a salmon salad. You know when you see somebody eat something, you're like, I want that. That's what happened. Then they have a deal going on, y'all. Those of y'all not cooking or whatever, they have a deal. They have a lot of buy one, get one free items. Is Dallas BBQ everywhere? Can't be just a New York thing. I didn't look that up. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, how y'all doing? I know I've been a little while. Listen, I dropped a vlog. Go over there, check out my vlog. Mm. I dropped it earlier today. It was basically what I was doing on Thursday and a little bit of Friday. I don't know, y'all. I needed a break. I got creators block when it came to even topics. I don't know. I chilled out with my cousin a little bit, so I just I just didn't have it in me, y'all. Sean just left today. He went with his dad. I thought they were going camping, but they're not. They went to like a pool and a water park area that's themed. So like, it's like, it has like comics. It's all themed with comics. Let's get into this now. This is a fried rib they have that's doused. A fried rib they have that's doused in buffalo sauce. Mm. Mm hmm That is good. Oh, it's hot. That's hot, y'all. And they gave so much food. I, I cut everything in half. I'm gonna have it tomorrow, but if I wanted it later on tonight, there's more food there. Mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I have homemade fried ribs. But I never put it in barbecue sauce or or buffalo sauce. That's good. The salad is good. I'm gonna try salmon, y'all. Mm-hmm. It looks so good when she's eating it. So Sean comes back, 
mm. on Thursday. He worked this weekend and then we out for my birthday. I'm so excited. <laughs> Now y'all, I'm a homebody, as y'all know. So usually for my birthday, you know, I went out, I went to dinner and stuff like that for my birthday, but I used to cook while people bring over food. We hang out, listen to music, do grown people stuff, drink a little. But this is gonna be my first birthday traveling. And I told the gang like, well, I never had like anybody really plan out my birthday. They have like got me gifts or said, yeah, I'm gonna be there and we chill. But never like plan it and I'm in no control. I asked myself, so what are you, y'all? So that's. Kinda dope. Well, let me scratch that. One time, my ex threw me a surprise party, y'all. This turned into fake ass story time, but threw me a surprise party. I was really surprised. I was really happy because I was very close to my family. So let me leave with that. I'm not the type of person that is like ungrateful for things. Like it's just not. Um, they made the house look nice. Um, we made a drink up. We have fun. But here's the kicker. Y'all, I kid you not. Nobody I knew was there but one of my cousins. Surprise, motherfucker. So, like, I have friends that I have for years. I have family. Nobody I knew was there but just one of my cousins. Not that I didn't know her family. I'm saying, like, my people. So, it was a little different. Usually, when you go to somebody's party party, whether you know people really well or not, you reach out and make sure you invite them. That didn't happen. <laughs> For whatever reason, it didn't happen. But like I said, when I started this, I was very appreciative of it because I really loved her family. Like I really did, so I was very appreciative of it. But it was like later, like in therapy or stuff, I realized like, wait a minute, nobody knew it was there. First off, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and for many reasons, like, some of them was maybe a friend who couldn't come. Some of my friends never even got invited. Um, it made me think like even doing this video talking about my birthday coming up I'm thinking like when we make other people happy guys we don't do it for ourselves god damn it we do it for the other person some people don't really understand the term like grin and bear it they take just not liking somebody as a justification to not do the right thing. Unless somebody attacking you, which it wasn't, there would have been no reason for that. You would have did it because it would have made me happy. So I'm thinking about things like that for my future. Future people I have around, future things I want to do. I'm thinking about that. And one of the biggest things um, I 
when we was even discussing my birthday was them really letting me know like you it's okay to let people do things for you i think i told y'all like it was a whole discussion about going to vegas i wasn't comfortable going to vegas yet because i just wanted my funds to be right i know we're gonna go for Ross's birthday but it was i heard them when they were talking just letting people be there for you letting them do something for you and it was kind for me to hear and i appreciated that so thank you game especially mimi because she was the one really like pressing that issue with me and heard that i mean like you have to learn how to let people do things for you some people want to like I'm used to always making all the decisions and you know like on the day that for your birthday you don't want to. You want people to kind of like put it together for you a little bit. Either way, I'm super freaking excited. Am I gonna eat this? I'm full, I'm kind of full. Who said just one more? One more. All right. Really nigga? Let me eat it. Mm. I'm happy to y'all having fun. I can't wait to see him when he come back. Because that means we're closer to getting to Texas. We leave pretty soon, y'all. We leave on Monday. I leave on my actual birthday. It sucks, but I'm going to leave early. So I get there early. I spend my day with them. I know we're going to turn up. It's always a good time when I see them. I almost want my birthday to come and go so that when I come back, because when I come back, I'm staying a little longer. I'm not going to have that time. I like running it up with them. I like making videos with them, you know. It's just easier, too, when everybody around you is doing the same thing. Anyway, y'all, I heard this on my face. Happy Memorial Day. I hope y'all eating. I hope you're drunk. Okay. I don't know a lot of y'all outside grilling, doing your thing. I love, love, love y'all until we eat buffalo ribs again, which I don't know if I will order again. But until we have a great salmon salad. Until I see you guys again, which will be tomorrow. Later. Ooh.